welcome to everyone to cognizia decoding the ha ethical hacking webinar today uh, we are going to learn about um, ethical hacking first of all before starting i just want to know who is hacker as per your understanding uh, you can post that on the quiz on the questions tab i cannot see any reply so before getting into that uh, let me introduce to our company Cognitia. So uh, we are the world's leading talent transformation company. So we have uh, been trained more than one lakhs fifty thousand professionals worldwide. So we have seven thousand plus industries veterans. Uh, we as an instructor. So we are official partner with Red Hat, Microsoft, ITL, IC Square, AWS. So. Well, we have actually developed the talent, uh, you know, more than 55 countries so far. And these are few accreditations and awards which we have received a uh, uh, few years, specifically top 10 LinkedIn based of the page awards in 2019, uh, Asian Training and Leading uh, Award Dubai, ISO 2015 uh, Certified Quality Management Systems, and uh, we are dealing with these are the subjects like tape oops machine learning artificial intelligence which is a hot topic of the you know current uh, era so uh, cyber securities and professional development bi technologies big data analytics and many more things so so now without further wasting our time let's get into our webinar topic uh, that is decoding ethical hacking so first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Abrarul Haq. I have been working in this field from last 13 years. I have a hold, uh, uh, you know, last year as a 2020 EC Council's Instructor Circle of Excellence Award. I have delivered more than 250 plus training sessions on CH for more than 7,000 plus participants from across 50 corporates with an average success rate of 98%. So I have uh you know deliver for many many organizations specifically the client uh, we have uh, trained uh specifically for the accentures and sony uh, ericsson's companies uh you know utc Aerosp uh, aerospace so that's uh, the brief about myself so now first question is who is hacker so those who wants to answer they can mention that on quiz tab uh, there they can write and mention that okay so hacker is someone who um, hack and uh, who usually uh, bypass the security controls so security controls uh, can be uh, you can say that like antivirus uh, like the passwords to enter into this laptop which I'm using it or you can say that uh, you know and uh, you can see that hacker is someone who uh, hack and uh, trying to compromise our security controls and uh, bypass uh, you know bypassing the security controls and compromising the security um system vulnerabilities right so here uh, the controls can be uh, you know you can uh, say that like a antivirus firewalls ids ips and all that so then why do we need to have uh, hacking hacking um, because you see the, in the current scenario uh, we have seen people's from last two years specifically you see there is uh, a surge in uh, specifically cyber security areas um, cyber crimes are day to day is increasing okay and uh, we have to stop them okay to stop them we need to think like them okay we need to follow uh, their steps okay we need to uh, you know uh, see uh, how we can use them and uh, how we can use the informations which we can able to or fo follow them and uh, we can simply able to uh, you know kind of uh, make sure that we can 
uh, able to follow the same footsteps and uh, try to you know stop them try to fix the problem before they can uh, hack it us okay so defense definition is uh, wise hacker is someone who gain unauthorized access to an asset uh, a hacker is someone who compromises security controls hacker is someone who exploits the vulnerabilities and in any systems to do the evolve okay so exploit on you know exploit is nothing but gaining access okay so you can see that um, um, then we have a different terminologies terminologies like why do you need to know hacker terminologies like these are the terminologies plays a pivotal role okay like uh, you know you can say that people property information which we are trying to protect that is we call asset actually everything we are doing in um, you know to stop hacker to gain our asset so whatever possible from our end we try to do that so that we can stop the uh, hacker to gain access to our asset so what is the vulnerability vulnerability is the actual loophole weakness due to which uh, these are uh, things are getting hacked okay so what we can do here is uh, simple what we can do uh, is we can simply try to see uh, how we can able to um, you know, uh, see that uh, okay, whether uh, the weakness which our systems network has, how we can fix that. So that is what we do in ethical hacking. Okay, then a threat uh, that is uh, you can see that uh, which uh, definition wise a malicious act that can seek to uh, seek uh, to damage data, steal data, disrupt digital life in general. But a threat is something in layman term, something you can say we are trying to protect against it. Okay, trying to protect against it means let's say somebody is bombarding us by sending multiple requests to uh, our you know network and all that. What we can do in that aspect, we can simply try to block that those requests right so exploit is piece of software or chunk of data commands that take advantages of bug to cause unintended behavior to occur on computer systems hardware something electronic that means in layman term gaining access to asset by exploiting by hacking the vulnerabilities okay so these are the terminologies which we have in this particular uh, things you can see that so in uh, here uh, what you can uh, do that is uh, you can see that we have to uh, know that who is hacker how many terminologies are associated with the hacker how this uh, hackers terminology can play a pivotal role uh, to seeing that okay next is what are the risk what is a risk why do we need to worry about the risk actually risk is something which we commonly refers to the any kind of risk of financial loss disruptions damages to the reputation of the organizations resulting from the failure of its information systems then we have zero day attack a uh, zero day uh, is a computer software uh, it's kind of a, the vulnerability which has no solution or patch or there is no solution is been provided by the manufacturer company that is what we call zero day then motivating factor hack value is the motivating factor for hacker to hack it okay so let's uh, with, uh, with, you know let's start with life one example so here i'm using uh, the i lab okay uh, for our exercise so this lab is i'm using from ishi council so um, as i am official instructor from them so enter here password you can see the practical demos i'm going to start with who is so first of all we need to understand what is who is okay so who is is a registry okay so which we use which keeps the informations of of domain owner details okay so how i can use a who is and i can try to find out domain owner details right 
so now you can go to who dot is website here in this who is website what I'm going to do here I'm going to search for dot com systems dot net so you can see that I am trying to search dot com systems dot net so here uh, there are two O's sorry for typo mistake so you can see here I found the result and also I found the personal identifiable name company name address okay so and I can found the location pin code country mobile number and personal email address also isn't it so by seeing this you can understand that I can able to find out this way so now everyone please go to who dot e site okay and try to use your uh, domain uh, if you are studying or if you are working somewhere uh, you can try to do that okay okay so and try to find out and let let me post let post in this question tab if you are able to find out or not just mention yes or no can you see for your domain personal identifiable information yes or no so you guys said yes okay thank you i guess mm, vanu prakash also says yes very good so now you can see that it's very easy to find it out from who is so what is who is who is is a registry which gives the information about domain owner details okay and those details we can use to find out the who is the owner of the domain what is his mobile number what is his uh, you know uh, address and uh, personal email address and all that right so now talking about you know how we can uh, fix this problem how we can make this private okay so now i just tried for dot com system which is a uh, having this issue let's try for facebook and see how facebook is maintaining that so you can see here for facebook we got the domain name as domain admin so which means that this information is not looks correct this is looks like a masked information right so what they have done they have marked this make private now so when they make this private usually when we do this private information or when we make this as a private we can see that this is actually uh, you have to pay extra amount to the particular vendors for an example if you say if you are going to uh, give the godaddy and um, if you have purchased domain from godaddy so you have to pay them as a domain service uh, you know privacy domain privacy so so here if you go and check that here full domain so here they will charge yearly some amount to fix this problem okay so they will not share with the publicly as it is you can see for dot com systems okay so that was the first part of our lab okay so moving next here i hope you guys can see my screen so here how many types of hacker we have anyone has any idea if you guys know mention that on chat window white hacker deepak says white hacker three white black gray very good so white hacker and uh, gray hacker and black hat hacker black hat hacker who is the really bad guy and white hackers who we also called as ethical hacker gray hat hacker is the sometimes uh, they act as a offensive sometimes they act as a uh, you know defensive okay now can anybody tell me what is the difference between hacker and ethical hacker in just one word just one word what is the difference between hacker and ethical hacker understand uh, ankit says ethical 
does according to norms intention okay just one word understand damage <laughs> kamal says damage okay varun says works on ethic protecting bug finding so actual uh, right word is permission so ethical hacker has permission from the owner to hack it whereas hacker has no permissions to hack it right so ethical hacker has permission from the uh, you know vendor client that to ensure the vulnerabilities whereas hacker has no permission okay moving next so now time for second demos first demo we have seen okay how who is lookup next is how we can gather the informations about uh, you know in information how we can gather well, okay and we can use the search engines okay how many search engines we know first question how many search engines we know guys we know google we know have you guys know about uh duck duck go so what is the difference between duck duck go and google you guys know what is the difference between duck duck go and google yes google will uh, keep tracking each and every search which we type here whereas uh, duck duck go doesn't you know share our you know search whatever we are searching it here okay so now how i can use search engines to gather the information for an example let's say i want to find out the login page of pakistani hosted site okay so here what i can do i can simply type here all in title colon admin slash login okay and i can mention site and i can mention star dot pk so what i am trying to do here i am trying to do here i am using google advanced operator so the operator name is on all in title and that title which you can see that has admin or login and the site which should be hosted in in the extension of pk right so now you can see here i found all this uh, link and i got the admin page of login page of the pakistani hosted site after that what attacker can do they can try to find out simply um, login page then they will try to crack the password cracking technique okay so what are the password cracking technique we can try how we can crack this login page yes we can try sql injection okay so let's say this is a site which is testfire.net i'm just trying on this demo page yes brute force dictionary hybrid then rainbow table here i can try here single code space or operator space one equal to one dash dash if i try here in both places and try to you know log in here so you can see that i am successfully log in here without providing the actual uh, you know username passwords i got the login of these sites so what are what i did here i made a search on google and i gathered the login page and i can try same way on this a live site as this is not my property i'm not trying here this will be act as a against our ethical so that's why i'm not trying i'm just trying to show you on demo so what attacker do they try to simple make a google search from the google search they found these things and all those login pages after the finding those login pages they will try this type of you know sql uh, payload okay which i am just sending to you guys the payload is single code one equal to one dash dash okay so you can see that by doing that you can able to understand that 
this is how one can gather the information from uh, you know a site okay and finally they can able to bypass this okay next thing is what is a penetration testing okay so penetration testing means it is actually a test that is done by the ethical hacker okay and those hacker will use the same footsteps as hacker do uh, as hacker does okay to identify test and highlight the vulnerabilities in their security posture okay so the pain test actually are often carried out by ethical hackers so these in-house employees or third parties mimic the strategy actions of an attacker in order to evaluate the hackability of the organization's computer systems uh, network and web application so so that they will see how much we can able to find out the problem and we can fix it okay so this is we call pen testing so pen testing can be done with the help of three methods or three strategies one is black box black box is where you have no idea about the product or no knowledge about the product and you want to hack that okay then we have gray box where you have partial knowledge of the systems white box is actually you know all the details about the organizations and you can try to hack it okay so usually white box is done by the internal employee of the organization black box actually provides the uh, it's like a done by the external consultant and gray box is provided by the you know sometimes the new employees sometimes they will act as offensive and defensive both approaches they do so that is what we call uh, you know gray box gray box sometimes good sometimes bad but here the approach which following here it's like we maybe get some information for gray box or may not we get some information example let's say you want to if, uh, hack the you know uh, you want to go to hack uh, these things like uh, you can say uh, amazon site okay so for an example if you want to hack the amazon site what you can do here uh, you can simply try to see how you can hack that isn't it how how you can hack that so for that let's say amazon we have amazon.in okay if uh, amazon.in we have let's say we in white box approach we must know about what technology has been used to build every all those information from the developer in gray box we try to collect some informations like partial information let's say in amazon.in or .com site uh, has multiple you, you know has you know more user ac accounts are associated with let's say how many roles are associated one for buyer another is a seller who sells the product another is shipper who deliver the product another one is admin who maintain the product web pages and information records and all that okay so these all peoples which we have okay so buyer will be one someone so if you are trying to do you know gray box pen testing so you must need to get some informations like whether you will get this test user account or not okay so for that so you have to get test user uh, accounts from all these uh, you know evolve uh, you know uh, roles okay if you are getting that that means you we can understand that yes uh, well and good maybe in black box no will not get but in a white box definitely will be getting it but in gray box we may or may not get it okay so that is the difference between uh, different approaches which we follow in pen testing approaches okay then <clears throat> going to next example of hacking so now you can see here how i can use a product and mirror a website why do i need to do mirroring okay so i do mirroring because i want to know whether i can whether i can uh, able to 
make phishing page or not okay we know what is phishing phishing is like a, a technique which social engineer apply what they do here is they will try to make sure that the site can be able to use that okay so how they can use that so let me explain one by one so here we can go to the our tools here we are going to use um, our website mirroring tools install that click on that so now finish this click here launch <clears throat> So now you can see that I am going to mirror a website that is we called certifiedhacker.com. So here you specify the link. This is a actually a real website which we call certifiedhacker.com. I can click here next and finish it once i finish it you can see it is started copying the actual site okay so this site is is been started copying it okay we just need to wait for five minutes then you can see that it is going to copy it okay so <clears throat> so here is one of the questions let me answer it uh, will we get certificate for attending this session? Yes, you will be getting a certificate of attendance. Well, will you share the recordings of this meet? Uh, yes, you will also getting the recordings of this meet. No worries. Okay, so guys keep posting your queries uh, if you have any so we we'll love to answer it so so this is how you can see that we can able to start uh, you know copying that and making it to local okay so why do i need to do that it's because i can replicate this whole page okay and um, okay and uh, so uh, which we can replicate this whole page and may fake it and send to the victim peoples and make them fool and collect their username passwords that is the more whole idea that is what we call phishing okay phishing is all about making um, you know uh, legitimate messages website looks like a you know legitimate messages but it's not a legitimate it's illegitimate okay <clears throat> Uh, where can we get the certificate? Uh, uh, we have your rec record with us. We will email you guys. Don't worry. Okay, so here um, there is a question from Vargava. Okay, sir, how I can able to download this? Okay, so uh, from where I can download it? You can go to uh, STT track website copier. You can see it website copiers you can go to this site and here you can able to download it you can go to download and from this httrack.com you can download this okay yeah so here attacker use for different purpose understand so that is the difference between a um, the you know mindset between developer and attacker so now you can see it's been finished now let's browse so you can see that i can browse the whole website which is locally hosted okay so this is how one can mirror the website and this login page i can send to the victims and he will not able to check he will think like this is actual page and he will type username password and we can collect those passwords okay so that is how you can see that um, you know one type of things which attackers do that okay and uh, this is how attacker can able to uh, you know uh, make uh, fool to the peoples and collect their username password credit card information social security numbers and all that okay so moving to next so next all we have lab so go with the lab so next is google hacking
so here are some questions how is this sent to the user yeah very good question how it is sent to the user uh, it is sent to the user in terms of uh, uh, you know email okay that email you can see that those email we can uh, see that uh, it can be like a spam emails and all that uh, it can be through phishing page uh, you know page okay it can be with the hyperlink concept and all that okay so next question is in the instant of installing software in your pc laptop there will be always a possibility of your detail will be compromised is there anything that we can do or use to avoid these cases in instance of installing softwares in your pcs okay there is a always possibility of your details being be compromised your in pc laptop uh, what details it's been compromised you mean to say that um, you never know that the software or uh, you know which you are insta installing that also act as a malicious in nature right yeah that is why we need you need to have a good end protections right so that end protection you know endpoint protections can help you to save save yourself from this okay so for that you ha you have to use that okay uh, good end protections can you brief about ip spoofing yeah i will do that so you just use the expression uh, or one equal to one dash that can you explain yeah thank you santanu uh, santanu for reminding me that so in this this short time now i'm just trying to give you overview of that okay let me explain to you actually when you try here single code and space or operator okay and you are trying to type here one equal to one so one equal to one is a true statement which always returns a uh, true value if you know sql you know you would have know that okay and does uh, you know dash dash will be act as a commentator out for the rest of the things okay so when you use single code or operator one equal to one actually you are telling that if we use this type of you know uh, either it will try single code or it will try one equal to one in most of the cases where if you try to uh, look into the site some of the sites which will be throwing a error message let's say if i go to google here in google if i type here php id equal to some uh, this type of url okay and this type of url if i am searching here i'm just getting a lot of urls right so in this url if i try to type a single code and try to see whether it is throwing a error message or not if it is throwing me any sql error from that means i can understand that this website can have some problem with sql okay so you can see that we have not received any error message which looks like this side has been got fixed for the SQL injection attack. Okay, so like that we have to keep try because see uh, our ethical hacking field is required trying and trying. So we have to try more and more so that we can able to understand that this single code will throw error message if SQL injection is side is vulnerable for SQL injection. Okay, so in that case when you try or operator one equal to one it will always return true value so that is why the authentication is bypassing and rest of the query uh, is commenting out because we are using dash dash okay so that is how uh, you can understand that but if you join uh, specifically sql injection topic there we will be elaborately we explain that okay so now moving to next lab exercise which is social engineering so here uh, i'm going to make a clone version of a website which you guys also do that i am trying here in a demo version of the website but you can try on facebook linkedin twitter and all that so for this i'm using parrot os parrot is similar kind of os which we use to uh, perform penetration testing it's a similar kind of as a Kali Linux if you hear about that. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm using to collect the super user account and entering the password. Changing the file. 
I'm just typing here. Set tools. Set tools is the tool which we are using to perform password cracking. I mean, as a social engineering attack. Social engineering attack we call as a art of convincing people to reveal their confidential information, which they are not unaware to protect it. Okay. So here some questions are there. Okay. Is there any programming skills required? Yes. Programming like scripting skills like Python, Perl, Bash scripting. Okay. Uh, can this expression be used to crack any login for, uh, password? Only those sites are vulnerable for SQL injection, not any login password. Okay. So select here uh, social engineering attack. Uh, as we are going to perform attack on a website here, I am targeting to movie scope, but you can target to Facebook also. Okay, both are safe, you know, any website you can target. Okay, so uh, and I'm just trying to collect the username password. So I'll go with credential harvest method or also we can try web jacking attack method, but web jacking attack method victim can easily get it. So I don't have any site. I want to clone the website. So where do you want to host this? So I want to host in the same Parrot OS. And what is the website? I'm, website is moviescope.com. So now you can see that we have cloned successfully. And let's say if I send this link in hyperlink format. Hyperlink format means, uh, let's say <clears throat> this is a word file. In this word file, what I can do here, I can type here the parrot IP, which is 13 10.10.10.13, uh, and I mask this information. And add as a link. <coughs> Insert a link here test to display. Now I will change this for www movie scope okay but attacker do they will write the uh, facebook uh, www.facebook link and all that but in address i will mention this so now everybody from email body you can see this looks like a, a movie scope but if you bring your cursor over it you can see the actual link is 10.10.10.13 which most of the people's common people's though are not in it and all that they can easily become the victim of such tricks and they become full of this type type of attack okay same here if i try here 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot so attacker can open their email and click the link and link will be open like this so here if i try to type the login username passwords okay <clears throat> you can see this is only ip address right if i try to log in here you can see it is take me to real website okay but if you go to parrot here so you can see that we found username password like this so you can see this is how attacker can easily able to make full us and collect the username passwords uh, you guys must have been seen um, we can do the same thing with the whatsapp yes yes with the whatsapp also <clears throat> but whatsapp is an app okay but through whatsapp we can do that okay for an example through whatsapp like you usually see some links in whatsapp where some mm, to uh, hear a good news uh, you click this link and all that right so you uh, uh, many times we get it like uh, some uh, flower will be there actually they apply this type of trick and they collect your uh, you know they they will collect try to collect your details okay uh, santanu says every time uh, i connect with my wi-fi credential page it says not secure um, uh, it's because uh, the reason is uh, i think you are using iphone that was a social engineering attack and this is how one can able to easily uh, you know bypass that okay second is after that okay so you can see here uh, how i can hack a website this is the last part of the webinar topic after that we'll take a q sessions and wild off okay so here uh, i can go to moviescope.com
so i can go to here moviescope.com sorry for guys so this is the login page so how i can bypass this i will use same single code or operator which can be write in say, small letter also dash dash same thing i am trying here in both username password and entering it so once i enter it i you can see that i got the login access it's because this site is vulnerable for sql injection attack right now you can see here i can open this editor and i can go to this tab from this what i can do here is i can clone this first i can copy this and this copy i can use this i'm going to use a tool called sql map hyphen small u u for url after that i can type here cookie value how to collect how i can collect the cookie value i i can collect the cookie value from here right click this and do inspect element under inspect element you can see there is a console okay in console just type here document.cookie and enter it once you type your document dot cookie and enter so you can see here so this is the value you can see here is actual is the cookie value you can copy this and you can go to notepad here and here you can add here okay after that you can type here dbms so this is actually what i am trying to do here is i'm just trying to here i am trying to copy i'm just trying to find out the database names and also asking whether this website is vulnerable or not to our sql through sql map okay open the terminal type here sudo shu get the super user account by typing sudo shu command change the directory and here just add here this command and enter here so now scan has been started and sql map is trying to find out whether this parameter value which we tried is injectable or not if it is injectable it will give you the message that the get parameter e a get parameter id is vulnerable so once you see that vulnerable message you can understand that this is this id is injectable you can see here get parameters appear to be microsoft sql server and this id is vulnerable so you can see this message get you know id is vulnerable here okay so if it is vulnerable then you no need to keep testing you need to stop it okay once you stopped it it will give you the all the databases names whatever you know whatever it has after that finding the database name we can go to use to find out the table names on using any given database movie scope So you can see here we found total 11 date, uh, tables here isn't it after finding user na tables names next is what we can do I, I can find out after that column names from any one tables so 
you can see the uh, tables user underscore login looks interesting isn't it try it you can see the column has password username id and all that now after that i can dump the data so you can see that i found all the username password from this site right so i can try to use any login and check whether the information which i found is correct or wrong right i can go to www.moviescope.com and here i can type here catty and your password is apple and try to log in so you can see here let's see whether the username is catty or not it's not catty it's catty <clears throat> it's a e not a sorry my bad change it to catty apple and you can see here i got the login so like that we can do many many attacks see here now i can uh, you know go to store this okay i can go to contacts under contacts uh, i can you can see here i can come here and start performing cross-site scripting attack so what i can do here is i can type here script in this i can type here hacker uh, and and can type here let's say uh, i'm just trying here alert script i can do many more script like i can do redirection script i can do uh, hijacking session ids scripts i can do you know i can do many things okay uh, this is a javascript language by using this i am you know executing this script so and this scripts go and stored in uh, the database of this site so just here comment it out okay and now let's log out okay so let's see some other users come and log in here okay so here i'm just trying to log in with sam account okay and sam password is test okay which we have found it here from from this you can see that right sam and test so now if this user which we have used to logged in click this contact us page see here so you can see you have been hacked so many things we can do that okay so that was all about our practicals and demos and all that okay uh, thank you for joining guys